this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today I wanted to show you this. Okay, I already have a tutorial on how to crochet this lovely, lovely stitch. And the best part is that it can be done upside down both, both ways. So, um, okay, so what I was go taping yesterday that I was going to show you how to do the samples, which I already did. So I will put that right after this. But it did not turn out the way I wanted because I wanted to some make something for myself like this. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, it didn't even fit on my mannequin. <laughs> okay, I just had a visitor, so I had to say bye bye to my visitor. <laughs> it was my son. Went to grab some stuff. Okay, so um. What I did was, I was going to make this a V-neck, like a regular poncho, but it didn't turn out. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't, right? So I thought to myself, why don't I make it this way? And I have plenty of yarn here that I, I want to just finish it up. So I have, I hope it will be f enough to make the back. I think it's going to be enough. I can't make fringes with this yarn, unfortunately, because it is... Uh, it just goes into little, little, uh, as I showed you when I was uh, working with this yarn. And I will put the link below and or, or, or on the end of the video. So what I did is, I'm just going to turn around. See, I'm working on the back. What I'm going to do is, what I did is, I already made the two pieces. And they're pretty long, so let me just show it to you. Let me show the length so you can get an idea. So it is pretty long. It's about 30 inches, uh, 29 inches long. So I said to myself, I already have the pieces. Well, this is going to look way better, but um, I just need to finish the back. So uh, it's 29 inches long. So I said to myself, why don't I join those two pieces and then make a... Uh, like what, what what is this called like a like a different type of a poncho right and i think it's turning out pretty good i just love how it looks especially when i'm wearing black i can wear this anywhere and then uh, i can go from there okay, and the stitch is just fantastic i just love 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 how it's how it turned out and i would highly recommend if you're a plus size even with a regular size, you can make something like this. It's so fantastic. Look, even the sleeves. I'm not going to sew or anything. I'm just going to put this on and then, you know, walk around. Or, you know, if I'm going to a wedding, <laughs> if I'm going to a special occasion, hopefully this COVID will go away. I'm praying to God so we can, you know, have our regular weddings, our parties, and so on, get together. So I said to myself, this would be just perfect on under a... Uh, like a sleeveless dress you know if you don't want to show your arms and then so on well it's pulling right now because uh like i said i have joined and i am going to be working so what i did is what i did is i'll just show it to you so easy or maybe i'll just show it uh, on a bed upstairs and then you can see it better after the back is finished it's going to be fantastic and uh just wanted to show you how it looks like I just love 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 the sleeves so it's going to be like this this is how I'm going to be wearing no uh, sewing done and I think it turned out pretty good other than the v-neck that I was trying to make as uh, these pieces were too short I need I must have uh, crocheted longer and I wasn't quite sure if I had enough yarn so that's another thing right and uh, yeah, you need to have enough yarn to make that kind of a poncho. Well, I'm sure with this method, I'm going to be using more yarn. But you know, it, it's, it's like a question mark always in my head. Would I have enough yarn and so on. But I just love how this turned out. So I hope you like this uh, video. So I'm going to add the other uh, video that I have taped yesterday, how to block this. I have sp special methods and uh, how to join if you want to make a v-neck but um, I will go upstairs and show you uh, well 
you know what it's so easy actually I'll just show it to you right now so what I did is I continue crocheting the upper level like the after a I just continue crocheting and what I did is I chain about 10 chain and I added this one automatically so no sewing involved at all so no sewing it's super easy and I just continue going back and forth so I'm just gonna crochet uh, 22 more rows and I'm done I'll block it or maybe even I will crochet longer I don't know the back side longer just to give that nice uh, dressy look I can do that I'll just try to finish the yarn that I have in this cone but this cone of yarn I'm super thrilled how it turned out it's a little bit heavy so it is not like a lightweight but it's not that bad that's another thing so it's not that that bad and it gives this beautiful mentality look look at it oh my goodness I just love love how the stitch looks like and like I said it doesn't have it's reversible both sides and uh, it doesn't have the up and down look so I'm just continue crocheting and um, it will give me the same look on the back side as well see so I will put the link below and I hope you like this video I just wanted to give you some updates that I played around with it as I plan to do the v-neck it didn't work out so this one turned out way better and I'm so happy because it's way longer other than the V poncho that I was planning to make and the sleeves look at it looks like a dress I just love it love it love it yeah I don't have to wear a necklace because being this the metallic look it just gives a beautiful gorgeous look so I hope you like this video thank you and happy crocheting take care bye bye hello this is Frida welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to join these uh, two pieces of uh, I have crocheted uh, I have blocked it here's a very close-up look and it looks just fantastic Okay, so I'm going to, uh, this is one of the piece that I have finished. Uh, it's really hard to fit in. Here we go. So uh, this is one of the piece that I have finished. So what I'm going to do is, the other one is on my iron board. So I'm going to show you how to block it. And uh, I investigated, <laughs> searched it up, and found out that this is... Um, uh, it looks like metallic, doesn't it? And it's so nice and shiny. I just love, love, love the yarn. Um, so, uh, yeah. So this is how it's been blocked. And I'm going to show you how to block the other piece. So let's go to my laundry room. Okay, so here's my setup. I have this small iron board. I refuse to... In my previous lives, I had life. I had uh, so many of those huge iron boards. It's always hard to store them. This one, it's so tiny. And I had it for years over 20 years, I believe. And I did, did the fabric. So I put a new fabric on it. So what I do is when I'm done, I just put it here, slide it there, and it just, just stays there, right? So um, here how it looks like. It's a little bit, see it's, uh, when it's blocks it totally changes. So I just wanted to show you how it looks like first. And this is the cone that I've been uh, crocheting it with. And oh my goodness, I, I might have more to make another poncho. So my plan is to make a poncho for a plus size. And uh, I hope I have enough uh, that it will fit me. So let me just grab my iron here. I did do a, a different version uh, on another uh, video, but that's okay. I wanted to show you on this one. And I bought this from Amazon. It, it looks like, it feels like nylon, but it's not. So my iron is all the way high. It's up to high. And I'm going to use steam to block, uh, to, uh, you know, block it. That's the only thing that will help this uh, block because I tried it with wetting it. It's not working. 
and uh, it does get bigger. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I just I just give a steam. Just the, oops, my steam wasn't on. Just want to show you. So I give lots of steam. Okay, why isn't this working? Because I'm taping, right? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Oh well. I used to have the Rowanta steamer to block my garments. At the beginning it was working good. I paid a fortune almost, I think over $200 Canadian. And uh, after using it for a while, it wasn't steaming like this, the way I'm showing right now. I don't know if you can see the steam, but uh, this is all I'm doing. I'm pulling and then working with the steam but this fabric definitely helps or else it will melt if I touch if I let the iron touch the fabric okay see how it changes totally and I pull it just like this to give up that beautiful stitch You can see it, huh? Let me get a closer up look. So lots of steam. Okay. <laughs> Just want to show you. I'm going to continue steaming this, blocking it. Oops, my arm. So I think I've been working on this for six, seven days. Yeah. It does go slow the stitch, but it's just the end result. I just love how it's turning how it turned out okay so this is how it looks like so I will continue to uh, block this just there's just a little bit left and uh, just let me show you this is how it looks like before I steam it see it looks like it's wrinkled <laughs> But as soon as I steam it, it totally changes. Let me show it to you one more time. And uh, you'll see the result. See? Even just a little bit. Look how it changes totally. Okay, so I'll work on this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have iron and I have uh, put them on top of each other's just to be on the safe side. And it looks like it's the same size. It's about 26 inches long. So that's uh, 66 centimeter. I was aiming for uh, 28, but unfortunately, yeah, it didn't work out. Um... Yeah, it's only just a little bit, two inches smaller than what I anticipated. So it's 19 inches wide. So that's about 48. So this is for a plus size, just to point out. Well, hopefully, I'm sure if it uh, can fit for a regular. So I'm going to say it's one size that fits every size. So this will fit every size, I would say. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you how to attach this. 
Okay. See, I didn't do a good job here. Can you see? So I'm going to take it back to my iron and I'll fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, I do have a tutorial on uh, I was uh, knitting a poncho, so uh, I will put that link below and I will, at the end of the video, uh, that will pop up. So just to give you an idea if you are a knitter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this is where I finished, but I didn't cut my yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to join. So this edge to this side all the way okay and I want to do a border using this stitch again so it gives it will give me that nice edging look as you can see see how it becomes I like it and I will make a pico to you know finish it up okay so uh, I'm going to be attaching this and after I attach this what I'm going to do is I'm going to be attaching this to this part right here. Okay. And this to this part. I know it looks uh, kind of uh, odd, but that's what's going to happen. So this is going to be attached to this right here. And. Uh, this is going to be attached to here so this area is going to be the neck area Get this area let me see if I can put some needles I'll be right back so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna poke some needles here for you guys to see just to give you an idea These two fabrics are going to be attached. Uh, well, I'm going to start from here. It's way better because then there won't be a uh, fabric. I attach it like that. And uh, this is going to be attached to this side like right there just to show you and this is going to be attached here so this will be the collar here okay so uh, I will work on that and I will be right back okay so I am here I am going to be joining this it, I'm going to use the same method that I join on my um, uh, motifs that I do so it's going to be the same method so what I'm going to do is chain two not too much and then come here well three let's do three and then come here and then with here I am going to be joining just like this Okay, and this is how it's going to look like and I also do this on my um, crochet items I do single crochets and then I grab the other piece and I join when I if it's if I need to join so this is how it will look like I know it's really hard for you to see <laughs> because of the yarn it's like let me do a close-up look so you will get the idea so I'm going to be joining those three pieces that I showed you I hope uh, um, uh, you can understand by this because uh, it is hard for you to see because of the yarn but this is how you join okay just like this and I'm chaining three so I'm just coming here and grabbing it like I'm crocheting. Well, I am crocheting, right? So I come here and then I make a, a single crochet. Okay. 
and I will block this later on and this is how it will look like you won't see anything you will think that it's one piece okay so I'm going to be joining this all the way to to the end well to end of this piece okay just to show you so that's one piece and then I will be joining where I attached my needles right so I will be joining here as well up to here and then I will be joining the other piece oops it's pretty heavy which is this piece from here and the open area will be the collar area okay so let me join these because these are this is going to take me time and after i'm done i will do the i will put it on my mannequin for you to see but after that i'm just gonna do uh i don't know i'll just check on the length if i like it i will do one row of this uh, stitch and I will attach that end of the video so you will see the stitch. I will do one if I don't like it. If it's too short for me, I will do two or maybe even three rows of this, uh, yeah, this uh, stitch just to give it a length. And that's all to it. So I'll be right back to show you how it's done with a finished look. So excited to see the end result.